Hi everyone, so today we're going to learn how to draw a direction field. The first thing to do is to find where y prime is equal to 0. y prime will be equal to 0 when 3 plus y equals 0 and when 4 minus y squared is equal to 0. This means when y is equal to negative 3 and when y is equal to plus or minus 2. Now once we have these values of y, we can start drawing our direction field. Make sure to label the axes. The range of y values is a little bit lower than the minimum y value and a little bit higher than the maximum y value. The lowest one I have is negative 3, so I'm going to have my y go down to negative 4. The highest y value I have is 2, so I'm going to make my y go up to 3. Now at the y value values for which y prime is equal to zero, we draw horizontal ticks because the slope y prime is equal to zero. Now, the next thing we have to do is determine the sine of y prime in the areas between, above, and below these horizontal asymptotes. When y naught is less than negative three below this horizontal asymptote, we pick any value of y that's less than negative three plug it into the differential equation, and see whether it's positive or negative. We don't necessarily have to calculate the value. We can just determine whether the sign's going to be positive or negative. When we plug in negative 4, two negatives multiplied by each other is a positive number. So below here, the slope is going to be positive. Now let's do when y naught is between negative 2 and negative 3. When picking a y naught value between two other values to plug into y prime, pick the mean between its bounds, in this case, negative 2.5. This is still going to be a positive value. This is going to be a negative value. So a positive times a negative makes it a negative value. Now let's determine the sine of y prime when y naught is between negative 2 and 2. If we try 0, it's two positives being multiplied by each other. A positive is the product. Finally, let's find what y prime is when y naught is greater than two. Let's try y naught equals three. And once again, we'll have a positive number here and a negative number here. So a positive multiplied by a negative is gonna give off a negative. As we found before, when y naught is equal to negative three, negative two, and two, the sign is neither positive or negative, the slope is zero. So what I'm gonna do is draw small positive ticks that look like a line with a slope of one at the points in the table in which y prime is positive, and small ticks pointing downwards with a slope that seems like negative one at the y prime values that were negative. At y naught equals negative four, it's a positive slope. Y naught equals negative 2.5, it's a negative slope. Y naught equals zero, it's a positive slope. And y naught equals three, it's a negative slope. Now in between these ticks, I'm gonna draw ticks that are the average between the two. If you have a tick that looks like this and a tick that's like that, the average would be a tick in between it. See how these ticks are less steep than the ones here, but still have a negative slope. I'll do the same for here. See how these ticks are not as positively steep as these, but they're not horizontal either. They're like the average between the two. And there you go. Here's our completed direction field. And I just went over the values for which y prime is equal to zero with a Sharpie just to allow it to stand out a little more. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. Stay tuned for some more short videos on differential equation concepts. Have a great day.